you know, I was, uh, I was just at the job and basically we have the, uh, you know, the uh, the sit, uh, sound system there and basically someone had put on some crappy remixes when I was uh, basically saying that, you know, some songs don't need to be remixed, right? And it basically made me think that's not this truth, right? This truth, <laughs> you know, because the scriptures refer to this truth as a song, as I've got here, says Matthew eleven seventeen. it says, and saying, we have piped unto you. And ye have not danced, we have mourned unto you, and ye have not lamented, right? They're showing you that these scriptures are referred to, uh, you know, as a song, a sweet song, right? And it says, piped unto you, that's, you know, starting from the apostles on down, you know, going out there, you know, doing these videos, preaching on the streets, uh, uh, prophesying the downfall of this in this kingdom, right? Prophesying unto these people, but they have not danced, you know, it's not a good song, they don't like this song. You know, you know, you get a, uh, you might be at a party or whatever, uh, you know, just listening to music and listen to a track and you're grooving, you're like, yeah, yeah, you know, doing it, you know, the electric slide and all of that good stuff. Then some next track comes on, you're like, shit, who, who, who added this track? That's what this truth is like to the majority of people out there, whereas we're the opposite, right? We're the ones that go, oh, no, this is a good track, right? You know, this is why the apostles uh, did the, you know, the whole nastiness of the scriptures, right? Because there's some uh, frequencies in this in this song that these people can't have, right? But this truth doesn't need a remix, right? This is uh, John ten twenty seven, right? It says, uh, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me, right? Because this this song is 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 good to the ears of whom the Lord has opened, right? This is, this is what this is saying is look man no matter how it's brought out right no matter how it's played right the people who are meant to hear it will hear it right, let me grab this real quick in matthews it's matthew thirteen sixteen it says but blessed are your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear right and now everyone you know for, for the most part has eyes and ears Right, uh, so what is this talking about? This is an allegory, uh, eyes being, you know, the, 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 the discernment to see and to hear what it is that the Lord is basically uh, 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 speaking about and what he means in these scriptures uh, well, with the certain breakdowns, you know, which, you know, we get starting from uh, the apostles on down. You know, pursuant to Amos 3 and 7, the Most High does nothing but he revealed his secret unto his servants, the prophets, right? Uh, it says, but blessed are your eyes, uh, for they see in your ears, for they hear. Right, so not everyone's, and I mean, like, what really the large majority of people aren't going to hear uh, 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 or, or, or see these scriptures until it's too late. Right, until, you know, the, 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 the missiles are, are shooting, until the anarchy... Right, then they're going to be like, yo, where are them guys on the streets? Right, but that's when Amos 8 and 11 comes in. Right, uh, let me grab that. You know, it says, behold, the days come, saith Yahweh, power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor thirst for water, but of hearing the words of, of Yahweh. Right, apes, right now we're saying, look, man, yo, this artist is cold, man. This artist is cold, right? And then people are like, nah, we don't like this music. We don't like this artist, whatever, what have you, right? And then what happens? Then, this, then you know, the artist starts winning awards, right? The artist starts winning awards and all of a sudden they're like, yo, yo, what was, you know, what's, uh, 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 what was the name of your artist? You know, what is the name of that guy? I want to hear more of his track. But then they ain't going to be able to find any of us, man. They ain't going to be able to find these tracks, right? And you, you know how people get, they like to ride the wave. Right, and you know, but the in that allegory, winning the awards was when the Lord starts getting his fame. Right, and how is the Lord getting gonna get his fame when the things that he's told his prophets to go out and say start coming to pass? Right, the Lord's Yahweh Shem El Shah will start getting his fame, and then that's when people are gonna look. But they we ain't gonna be there. Right, the, the videos ain't gonna be there. There's gonna be a famine of the word. Right, 
which is why the scriptures say this. It says uh, Isaiah 55 and 6. Right, it says, Seek ye Yahweh while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Right, yo, so download these tracks, man. Listen to them, right? You know, make your eyes uh, attuned to them. You know, at first, you know, you know, just from a carnal perspective, right? You know, I never really used to like rock, right? Now there's certain tracks, you know, on my phone, you know, certain people, you, you listen, you know, they're like, shit, you, you listen to this shit, right? Got, you know, I'll, I'll be honest, I've got some J-pop on there, I've got some, uh, 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 what you call it, some, uh, some Paramore on there, some Nickelback, you know, some uh, whatever, right? But that's why, because after a period of time, your ears, you know, start opening to certain things, and that's on a carnal level, Right, when you come into this truth, right, not every song is going to uh, <laughs> uh, be to your tasting. Right, but after a while, you start getting into the song. You're like, yo, 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 I see what you mean. I see what you mean about that. You know, I was listening to that track, right? You know, I'll give you an example. Psalms uh, 137 and 9, you know, it's just a personal testimony. Right, when I first came in, right, that was a hard one to, you know, uh, uh uh, to digest, right, dash their little ones against the stones, right, however, you start growing and, you know, growing in the truth, you spend a bit more time, you start seeing what all the evil and wickedness that Esau has done, then you're like, yeah, then you start grooving with it, you're like, yeah, I'm down with that track, you know, in fact, that track, I'm gonna put it up to the top of my playlist, right, you know, because you start feeling it, you start grooving it, you know, First, when you first heard it, you may have tried to, you know, put the volume down. You don't want to listen to it too loud, right? Or you might, you know, play it fast forward or whatever. But now you really get into that track, right? Right, no remix. <laughs> right, it says Revelations twenty two eighteen. This is for I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. Right, if any man shall add unto these things, the most I shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. Right, it says, and if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, the most I shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city from the things which are written in this book. So basically, if you add, you remove, you know, if you basically start remixing this track, which is this truth, right, a, a, a track uh, 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 that uh, that doesn't need remixing, right, then you're going to be destroyed. Right, and that's 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 the, that's the point. You're gonna be destroyed, so don't don't mess around with it. Right, what have us got? Yeah, it says Proverbs thirty and five says, "Every word of the Most High is pure. He is a shield unto them that put their trust in Him." Right, because so if it's pure, why why uh why why try remix it? You know, you get certain artists where everyone's always just like, "Look, man, you don't need to remix." Uh, for instance, Adele. Right, you don't need to make a dubstep remix to um someone like you, right? You don't need to make a remix of that. Just like how you don't need to remix this truth, because everything in here is pure, right? It says, add thou not unto his words, lest he reprove thee and thou be found a liar, right? Oh, I got more. Oh, nice. It says Isaiah thirty and ten it says, which say to the seers, see not, right? Now this is the audience, man. Like for instance, you get them crappy fanboys that you know they they uh, you know they always try to tell the artists nah you know what you know just use, you once again use uh, worldly examples nah Dre Dre man we like you know uh, 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 we like your old sound or Jay Z oh, we like the stuff you used to do before you know bring give us a style like that right. You know, and that's sort of like how these guys will come up to them. It's like, nah, we don't like the way you're bringing it out. Bring it out like this. Ah, oh, we don't like uh, the way you do X, Y, Z. Do it like that. But, nigga, you're just the audience, man. <laughs> right? You ain't the one with the talent. You ain't the one that's been given the talent to make the music. Right? You know, here it is, the Lord, starting with the apostles on down, have given them the knowledge and understanding of these scriptures to bring it out. Right? And then you're, you, you know, you're trying to tell them how to bring it out. Nah, sir, that's not how it works, right? And people want us to, you know, say, nah, man, you know what? There's too much bass in your music, you know, or oh, this, that, and the other. Oh, no, you need to do it like this. That's what these people are saying to us. You know, this, oh, you're, you're bringing it out wrong. 
And I'm nigga, fuck you. Right, he says, prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceits. Right, so they just want to, they want to hear, you know, that sound that all the other artists have made before them. Right, you know, they don't want to hear this, uh, this sound that's really been there from the beginning of time, the oldest sound. Right, because it doesn't uh, 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 fit to their agenda. Right, they want to, they don't want us to speak the niceness of the scripture, the fact that you saw the so-called white man's going to be destroyed, right, the fact that, uh, uh, you know, rape is in the Bible, right, the fact that a, a man is above his woman, right, but, um, but yeah, Lord's all that was edifying, um, you know, a bit of, uh, no, a bit of rambling, so slarky for that, but I hope the point, you know, didn't get lost, right, this is, a, this is a song that the Most High has given us, that doesn't need to be remixed. So until the next time I say, shalom.